What is up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back once again to our Digimon Next Order Let's Play. I hope everybody is doing wonderful today. If you caught the last episode, which was yet again another one of these kind of wandering about filler episodes, I made the point that I wanted to keep, you know, a more focused game plan over the next few episodes because, you know, we had one or two there where I was unsure about where we were going, who we were, who we were going to be recruiting, who we were going to be fighting against, what we're just going to be doing with our time because as we mentioned before in this series, time is precious. So this this episode, what I've decided is I'm going to kick things off with a bit of training. I'm going to keep stuff on screen, but I'll probably just do a kind of summary edit to kind of keep things brief for you guys. If you are very, very interested in seeing the training methods that I am doing, let's say that you're playing your own version of Next Order and you want to follow kind of what I'm doing, you know, I understand that some people do that when they watch Let's Plays, which is absolutely fine, that's cool. I would recommend that either you guys watch the last couple of episodes because there was tons of training in there, there was tons of explaining, and realistically, I'm not going to be doing much or anything different to what I was doing in those episodes. I'm just doing it again today, but I'm going to, Again, shorten it down and summarise it for you guys. So, if any of that sounds interesting, I am going to cut to a summary montage, I guess. Not like a massive montage, don't get too excited. But um, yeah, all I'm going to be doing is training probably against these Germon down here in front of the Oasis. I'll show you them just now in case you missed the last couple of eps. I'm going to be training against these little guys down here in front of the Oasis. I'm going to try and pull them one at a time, fight them one at a time. And then if those guys stats... Um, end up dwindling off eventually what I will probably end up doing is popping across into either the tower road section or over into this part of the map whatever that's called I can't remember the step step part okay so again I don't know which one it'll probably be whoever's got the weakest enemies in but again provide the best stats and so yeah here goes uh, the next part of our journey starts right now Taking trips, cause I never tripped on what they said. If you speaking from your heart and they say you're gonna aim for your head, haters gonna mess with your vision, keep you up laying in bed. But no, you gonna do this for you, cause you never did this for them. Sword was the mightiest pen, you lifted it right out the stone. Destiny's choosing you, cause the blade was made for you to own. Words cut deeper than any blade that a smith could mold. First person reference, swung it reckless in my adolescence, so I should know. Took the heat right out the air, every breath was cold. But now I know. Negativity toxic, it's drop kicks in a mosh pit Every day is Halloween skeletons in my closet Monsters under my bed, they trying to get in my head Till I wake up in the morning and forget what they said So don't listen to nobody, sometimes even yourself Cause the darker parts of the mind aren't too eager to help So just know They gon' try to hate on you, just ignore everything they say Such a vice, such a gift, such as mine, such a movie, such a script, such a trip. I just flew overseas to meet the whole damn team. Would've never got to do this if you swayed my dreams. Craig and I've been working since I hit 18. And drama and I made a couple hits you seen. Blue Lake and I turned our lives to movie scenes. Crazy plan A turned into the whole A team. What that mean? Brought together by the power of the music. To my vision and my fans, I will stay the truest. They got me moving, no label behind the movement. They job to keep me grounded, the sound is always improving. Small town kid, used to dream too big. Hope I taught a small town, you can't dream too big. What we got on the way, our greatest project to date. We came together to make it, promise it's worth all the way. So, they gon' try to hate on you, just ignore everything they say. What is going on guys? Welcome back. We are here back with Joe and Sam who are now fully fledged monsters at this point. You know, cute monsters still but you know a little bit stronger. Um, obviously we haven't made massive gains. Everything that you guys have seen just now there's 
that's pretty much it. The last couple of clips were just recently, just before I started recording again at this particular part. So yeah, I thought I'd, what I'd do is I'd take you guys through kind of one of these last fights before we head back to the city. Because I know you've seen a bunch of battles at this point and you're probably fed up. But at the same time, I want to show you guys just how far our little dudes have come uh, and how much stronger they are. So we did bang in a couple of uh, little blips that we can kind of talk about on the on the way here. Everything wasn't smooth. Obviously, Joe got sick being a clear Agamon. He didn't like the, the desert conditions and so that kind of fucked him up a little bit. So we had to go back to the city because I had medicine on me at the time. But the medicine that I used ended up not actually curing his sickness, which was a bit inconvenient, you know, for want of a, a better word. So we had to run back to the city. We had to sell a bunch of things. Um and cure him with the second set of medicine, which was, uh, you know, enough, luckily. But obviously, I wasn't really happy with the training. I wanted to come back and do a little bit more. So I had to then sell a little bit of our stuff from our bank. Not a lot, but there was a couple of bits and bobs that I, that I had stored in the storehouse. So I went in there and then sold a bit more just to make sure that we had an extra medicine. Because when we came back training, I, know, I knew that there was a chance that Joe was going to get sick again. So I wanted to kind of prepare for that in the off chance that he did. But luckily he's been fine up until this point. We did actually take the tamer skill. I think you guys saw that very briefly in the little montage bit where we went in here. And we actually picked up a uh, mental trainer, which is this one down the bottom. Um, lessens the negative effects of disliked places um, and lowers the likelihood of getting sick, which is just... You know, it was, it was just nice. It's not something I would normally prioritise because normally what you could do is just go into an area or a biome in which your, your Digimon are happy with, you know, that they're comfortable. But, you know, I wanted to come back here. I was happy training against, you know, this kind of group of guys. And so I thought, uh, you know, why not just take it now? We had loads of points. We actually still have loads of points. And maybe we can kind of look at some of those in a minute. But for the time being, I thought we would come back to the city. We'd get clear Agamon out of the desert so that we can avoid that sickness, potentialness. Uh, because obviously we don't want that to happen again. It's too expensive, and obviously we want Joe to be in as good a spot as we can. Now, I think that by tomorrow, some of our Digimon, if not both of our Digimon, are going to Digivolve. Now, it's very unlikely that they Digivolve at the same time. That's why I'm saying things like that. But at the same time, you know, you never know. We might get lucky. We do have quite a lot of stats at this point. I think that Joe could definitely do with a bit more speed points, because that is by far his lowest stat. In fact, for both of these guys, it is by far their lowest stat. I'm going to put Sam onto the HP training and do things this way. This way they get the rival bonus as well. So yeah, it was it was a pretty good session of training. You could see just how easily those battles were becoming. Um, and the short kind of battle that I showed you guys right there. If, our guys are so much stronger than they used to be. We get order points a lot quicker because the bond between our Digimon is stronger. Our our strength is a lot bigger so that when we actually attack these guys we uh, we, we finish the battles off super quick it normally only takes one or two limit breaks if not both of our limit breaks to uh, to finish off the the shaman one that we were fighting against I did show you guys very briefly in that little segment that we actually went across to the is it the step step part of the no not the step step part is it step step part um the other part of the desert where the stronger Jeremon were and we fought against one of the level 20s now we didn't lose too much uh, HP in that kind of training session, but uh, it did take me quite a while I mean I tried to skip it and keep it segmented as much as I could but that took me like five probably more than that um, minutes in order to beat that guy so Although the, st the stats were fantastic it, it took a lot more concentration and we did end up burning a couple of recovery items as well So here we go. Let's see are we gonna get any digivolutions or can we make it into a another part of the day? We actually do get one. All right, interesting. I thought there was like a coin flip 50-50 here of whether this was going to go off or not. But here we go. Looks like Sam's going to grow up. Goes from rookie Sukimon all the way up to, let's see. He actually goes up to become Black Garurumon. Okay, interesting. Very interesting. We can definitely work with that. And we get our second Digivolution as well. So the reason why this is going so smoothly, guys, is probably because we gain so much stats. In all honesty, we again, I don't know what these guys are going to become, but let's see. Clear Agamon is going to go up. Joe becomes is it what looks like an Ice Devimon? All right, sick. <laughs> we can definitely work with this. So holy shit, uh, looking at these two guys, it looks like we've definitely got the uh, the Darkness Brothers. Let's have a quick peek at some of these stats. I'm going to um, pop off for a second and let you guys see these guys in all their glory. So Joe, let's have a look at you first. Um, you have went up to three and a half thousand HP. You have 4,500 MP, which is great because uh, as an ice dealer, we are probably going to be using 
a bunch of our like bigger moves. I don't know if we actually have any strong ice moves at the moment, but you know, for the future, it's good that Joe's like this because it means he will last a long time when we're training and stuff. His strength is 680, his stamina is 729, and his wisdom is his highest stat is 764. So Joe is looking like he's quite beefy, in all honesty. It uh, doesn't hit too hard, doesn't hit very fast at all. But, you know, that's absolutely fine. If we go into Joe's attack skills real quick, we can see that he has access to Heal Spear. We'll probably put that on his, his default move. And then, you know, we'll, we'll stick on Nightmare for now. But, you know, we might end up bashing that up a little notch if we run out. As we talked about a minute ago, Joe actually does have a fantastic amount of MP. So, for the time being, that should be okay. Let's have a look at Sam real quick. Kind of analyse this dude. His, uh, his HP is roughly the same, 3,500, he's got a bit more MP, and yeah, he also has a high stamina and wisdom stat, which is probably a testament to um, where we were training, guys, and also, I guess that, I, I don't know actually, because normally I put them on the speed training, I guess we did some stamina training in the early days of these guys, kind of uh, Digivolution career, if you like, that was terrible, but you know what I mean, when these guys were babies and whatnot. All right. Let's have a look real quick at Sam's skills as well. Both these guys are now level 4, and for the first time we can actually have access to a fire move, which is very, very nice. I think we'll put on fire tower and let that see how that gets on. 385 for 195 is not bad, but obviously the range is B, which is pretty good. And I also like having AoE moves as well, just on the off chance that we train against multiple digis. So, pretty cool. I am happy with these two guys. As I say, it looks like we've got the evil brothers in town, which is pretty wicked. And, uh, yeah, so... Let's uh, take these guys out for a spin. Now, I don't know if these guys are going to need fed because it is the morning, but it looks like, off the top of my head, or at a glance, that these guys don't need fed. I think the digivolution process has overwritten their need for food, which is pretty cool. And here we go. All right, guys, this is it. We give them a pet top. You know, right, guys, we're going to go out into the digital world. We're going to smash everybody. That we, uh, we're going to make lots of friends. We're going to recruit Digimon. We're going to save the world. We're going to smash everybody that we meet. But All right, okay, let's go down to the... Uh, Let's go down to the fields real quick. Pick up our meat for the day. Probably nip across the Digimon. Do all the usual stuff. And then I think that, you know, we could actually go wandering into Logic Volcano at this point and actually find that sick Digimon that has been eluding us. Now, the main problem that I can see with this, obviously, is that Ice Devimon is probably going to absolutely despise the Logic Volcano. I mean... Black Garurumon, I don't think you despise the desert because there is a bunch of Black Garurumon already in the desert. Um, he is he does use fire moves as well, so yeah, it is what it is. I don't think we need to buy too many items, although I did use a couple of recoveries. Let's nip across through here actually, and we'll just do the we'll do the full nine right now. I'll keep you guys with me, and uh, yeah, we can have a look at some of this stuff. We keep going in here and buying items, and I keep seeing Greymon. Now, we haven't actually used Greymon's tent yet, which he's probably hating life about. He gave us that out of the kindness of his heart, and uh, we've completely neglected it. But anyways, let's go down here. We can probably hang on to both our medicines rather than sell one of these, because if Ice Devimon doesn't like the desert, then there is a chance that he gets ill. I'm going to sell a, a scratchy grass. I'm going to sell two Corianders, which is going to give us a lot of money, and also this orange banana that we picked up on our travels as well. I guess we could keep the attack pl plug in. All right, cool. Let's uh, let's buy back, and, and for the first time ever, we can actually buy some medium recoveries. Now these are a little bit more expensive, but at the same time, we have a lot of money. Let's buy 15 of these, which is approximately half our money, and we can buy some medium MPs as well. I don't want to spend too much money because getting our money back is going to be quite tough at this stage. We'll buy five, and that'll keep us going. We'll buy one more regen, and we have no more autopilot, so let's buy one of those as well. And for the most part, that should keep us uh, going for a little while. Now, normally what I would like to do, as soon as our champions have appeared, normally what I would do is go back out into the world and do a little bit more training, you know, find out, right, how strong actually are these guys, what can they do? Because right now we're just assuming that, you know, they can do whatever they want, but in actual fact, there probably will be caps as always. You know, their, their stats are pretty good, but they are very fresh out of the, out of the Digivolution cycle, so... I don't know how strong they're going to be. I think that when we walk towards the desert, that a lot of these Digimon are going to get out of our way, and, uh, and we're not going to have to worry too much about battles. But at the same time, we should actually take these guys for a proper test run. Now, trying to navigate through the volcano is going to be a testament to that, and it'll, it'll be a true, a true test because there are battles that we will not be able to avoid in the volcano, and we might end up getting smashed. I'm not entirely sure how that's going to go. But our guys are pretty healthy right now. They're pretty, pretty strong. I think that they should manage to deal with a couple of the champion Digimon. 
Um, and if we end up you burning a couple of recoveries, then I can do more training off screen again, I guess, until we're at a spot where we can wander about comfortably, because honestly, the Logic Volcano shouldn't be too stressful for us anymore. These guys will need a little bit more of a grind before they come. They become, you know, like overlords of the volcano or any of that shit. We will have some difficulty, but it should be okay for now. Definitely an upgrade from our rookies. The biggest jump from, you know, having our rookie Digimon is that we now have access to the more powerful moves. So we, we pack a lot more of a punch. Obviously, we get extra stats and stuff like that from the Digivolution, but at the same time... The biggest um, knock-up is probably the ability to use more powerful moves. So it looks like these Gotsumon are still quite feisty. We're going to have to run away from these guys. I thought that they might move for us, but I don't know roughly how that works. Sometimes you find that when you actually fight these guys and beat them a couple of times, that's when they stop attacking you. But at the same time, it's fine. Hopefully this guy Diagros and we'll be able to run around Garurumon as well here. Garurumon versus Garurumon. <laughs> Alright, oh my god, we look like the evilest fucking crew running through the desert right now. Check this out. Alright, so we navigate past all these guys. I am going to pop in here and uh, and see how we get on. In fact, what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to go and get a drink of water real quick before we go in here, and I will be right back. Alright, fam, way back. Alright, let's have a look. See how these little chappers, chappers and chapperettes and all these good things, let's see how we actually get on in the volcano now. When we were wandering about in here in the last few filler episodes, we were trying to find the sick Digimon that Angemon needs to cure. I know I've mentioned that a couple of times, and some of you guys will be sick to death of me talking about this fucking sick Digimon, but some of you guys might have not watched the filler episode, so there is a quick update on what we're actually doing here. I have no idea where this guy is, but I'm guessing that he's through in this direction, in the garbage pile, um, because we've went up to the top of the volcano almost, and we've went along to the right, and although we haven't went as far as possible along to the right of the volcano, we, uh, we couldn't find anybody in the kind of entrance area. So Meteormon is going to run at us, but luckily he shouldn't be able to catch us because he is made of rocks and he should be pretty slow, which is fine. I never really, you know, I, I get scared running past that guy, but he is quite easy to dodge, so that is a, a plus point. Now, there's two ways we can try and get through this part of the volcano to get round, because basically, see over in the distance there, there's a bridge. We need to get to that bridge. Now, we can take a left and go through one battle. In fact, there's a Hackmon there. Is Hackmon, who, is Hackmon the Digimon that we're looking to speak to? Now, I really don't want to fight three Bomber Nanimon at once because Bomber Nanimon are... Uh, are they Ultimate Digimon? I think they're Champion Digimon. They're level 12, but we definitely can't fight three at once, so I'm kind of... I'm kind of scared. Are they going to charge us together? They are. Hmm. So this could be problematic, guys. I don't know how we get to Hackmon without uh, fighting these guys. Can I catch you on your own? No. I really wanted to just try and snag one of these guys and fight them one at a time. That would be really good. Can I catch you on your own? We might be in a fight with two. Alright guys, this might be a mistake. We'll see how we get on here and see how this fight goes. I'm going to make sure that we are definitely defending against these guys because they will pack a massive punch. Now it looks like we're actually doing okay just now. The damage that we're putting out is pretty nice. Uh, that is a nightmare. We get a boost off here and then I'm going to tell Devimon to defend. I think we might actually be okay here, which I'm actually kind of surprised about. This might be actually a really good fight for us. Okay, so if we can keep blocking, again, I'm keeping a, a big attention to... Our, uh, to our defend points. I want to make sure that we are blocking as much as this as possible because I don't want to take any more pain than we have to. Garurumon is looking like he's running through a little bit of his MP. I'm going to throw a recovery, a big medium recovery at our Ice Davimon here who looks like he needs it. I can't actually tell him to defend right now because he is confused, unfortunately. Luckily, the guard comes in and now we can tell our uh, Ice Davimon here to defend. Now, Garurumon is actually super close to his limit break. Um, there's Fire Tower, <laughs> if you guys are enjoying that. I want to basically make sure that Garurumon's ult gets uh, off in this fight somehow, but I don't know if I could do that while he's confused. I'm going to throw two medium recoveries out just to make sure that we get through this fight. And uh, yeah, we should be able to use our ult soon. In fact, if I can time this Garurumon ability correctly, we do. Alright, fine. This is going to make this... Wait, where we go? Freeze Fang! There we go. Messy as fuck, guys, but I think we get through the fight. Both these guys are almost dead. One of them is definitely going to go down here. And, uh, yeah, a pretty pretty good fight, in all honesty. That wasn't too bad at all. Um, it's not over yet, obviously. What I'm going to probably do is throw one more medium recovery at our Ice Devimon here, just to make sure that he doesn't uh, get an injury when he comes out of this fight. And then, basically, what I'm going to do now is use... Oh, we've got another, another limit break. This time it's Frozen Claw. 
Let's check this out for the first time. We get two ults off in the fight and we see both of our guys' limit breaks. So there we go. We get uh, bitch slapped by the Frozen Claw. And we get a decent amount of stats here as well, guys. Even though that uh, these are, you know, champion, we're champion, I guess because we fought two at once. We get 360 bits, a recovery disc, which kind of sucks. Uh, and a defense plugin as well. So, not bad. And apparently we learned Poop Fling, which we can be ecstatic about. Let's say... Uh, Apparently we learned Heat Breath as well, which we are legitimately ecstatic about. So uh, yeah, alright. So that I think that move will probably be able to be used by Garurumon. We're definitely going to praise these guys because that was pretty successful. Good job, guys. I didn't think that fight was going to go as smoothly. Now, obviously we're not done. We're probably going to have to fight this Bomber Nanimon. If I could just run past him, that would be fantastic because, you know, I don't really want to fight him if I don't have to. So here is Hackmon. What's up, little guy? I always like Hackmon's little cape. It's, it looks like it's very... Uh, it looks cool and it looks like it's cozy as well. It's blown in the volcano. Hey, what's your deal, says uh, Hackmon. You talked about Angemon, so here is the connection. Finally, we find our Digimon that we're looking for. I'm glad that this is actually him, because if we were to wander further into the volcano, I don't know how easy or harder it would get, but yeah, finally we get this guy. What? Angemon? That Digimon is still trying to capture me? Wait a minute. <laughs> There's been a bit of a miscommunication here. Angemon told us he was trying to help you. Don't think I'll be fooled by the talk of you checking out my wounds. Uh, got a fight, huh? I'll retreat for now. So we can actually fight Hackmon. Uh, I guess that we're not going to come through here at any other time and fight him. So uh, let's go. Let's see how what Hackmon's made of. Now, Hackmon is a rookie, but this guy might actually be challenging. Let's find out. He was nestled inside the Bomber Nanimon, so it'll be interesting to see. Now, the good news is in this fight, we are, uh, we are only fighting one Digimon. So we should be able to pay attention to Hackmon's attacks and try and defend properly. Uh, he looks like he's about to do something right now, and I don't know who he's attacking, so I'm probably going to tell... Okay, so it turns out that Hackmon actually uh, packs a massive punch. Right, let's try and do this properly, guys. Now that we know the strength of this guy, we should be able to behave ourselves a little bit better. Now, I want to use a recovery item here on both our guys, but I want to pay attention to uh, when he's going to attack. It looks like he's doing it now. It's probably on a Black Garurumon. It is, and I'm going to throw out two medium recoveries. And now it is very important that we pay attention to this guy. He's attacking Black Garurumon again, who is still defending, I think. And we missed the uh, we missed the order command. That was my bad here. He's attacking yet again, so I'm going to defend. Luckily, we get that one off. And finally, we get our first order command. This guy is pretty relentless in his attacks. There is Nightmare. I think we defend that properly. I'm going to throw one of our medium recoveries at our Ice Devimon here. And then after this, I'm going to also throw out... A medium MP. Hackmon's actually pretty powerful, guys. Okay. So he didn't hit us there. Who is he going after right now? Is it Garurumon? No, it's actually Ice Devimon. So that's okay because he's pretty close to his limit break. So if I can tell him defend properly, we should be able to make this fight go a little bit smoother. Looks like he's attacking again. So what I'm going to do here is just throw another recovery at Ice Devimon. And we're just going to try and get to our limit breaks, guys. It's so important that we get to those. Um, that's probably going to kill... Ice Devimon. I don't know if we'll get a defend off in time here. Okay, that was a boost missed opportunity. I'm going to throw two recoveries out right now. We've got him down to half HP, so I think if we get our Wombo Combo Limit Break off, we should be okay here. But it's trying to get to that stage that is uh, proving extremely difficult at this point. Garurumon goes in again, takes a, an AoE move to the face, which was unfortunate because Hackmon wasn't even aiming for him here. We're going to tell Ice Devimon to defend because he looks like he's using his Holy Move again. Firefang's going to land and we get the boost this time. Devimon is still protecting himself, so yeah, we're going to throw out two, two of our last four recoveries here, but we should have this fight in the bag as long as we behave ourselves here. So he goes for Ice Devimon, we tell him to insta-defend, and just like that, we win the fight. So, Hackmon, guys, wow, what an absolute demon. He was a, a very scary enemy. Uh, I don't think we were meant to be fighting him with these two kind of level Digimon. We use a bunch of our medium recoveries, which is a bit of a problem because uh, those are expensive. A bit more expensive than our recovery items, and although it's a bit more efficient monetarily, monetarily, and like financially, I guess, and also in terms of the battle, it's a bit more efficient as well because you heal a lot faster and, and it frees me up to be able to actually de defend and, and do stuff properly. But uh, yeah, that was a, a pretty tough fight, in all honesty. Our guys are just fresh champions, but I felt like they should have done better there considering that Hackmon is. As I say, I'm pretty sure he's a rookie Digimon. So, yeah, we get a decent amount of stats. We get 3,500 bits and we get 30 Tamer XP. So, all this is good. Um, let's see what he's got to say for himself now. And apparently, we learned our third move of the episode. Is that our third move? 
Holy shit. I don't know. Firewall has been unlocked as well. We are picking up moves left and right here, and it's actually fantastic. So Hackmon says, ouchie wawa. Ah, man, Angemon's going to dissect me for sure. Wait, I, I won't be dissected. So obviously there's a conversation log here where we tell him, dude, you're actually tripping balls. You're actually not going to be sliced and diced and uh, all that good stuff. But actually what's going to happen is he's just trying to help you. But isn't that what medicine is all about? So Hackmon is a massive, confused impression of what, what, what's actually going on here. It's not. Boy, I must have checked out the wrong wiki. Tell Angemon I'm sorry. K, peace out. So, of course, wikis are actually updated by the public. Well, Wikipedia is. I don't know if that's a general thing for wikis all over. But anyways, Hackmon's obviously been on the wrong site. Probably been browsing fucking... The, oh my god, the rude parts of Reddit or something like that. But anyways, we actually survive. We survive and we are out of there. We don't want to really fight this bomber and Animon because although it would be nice to fight him on his own and probably beneficial, I don't think we want to stay here for longer than we want to. As you can see down the bottom left, um, our friend here is this. Actually, let me get <laughs> get my head around this again. So it's actually it's actually Joe. Yeah, Joe really doesn't like this place. We've got Hackmon, so we can actually get the fuck out of Dodge now. We don't want to leave the desert completely just yet. We're going to get out of the volcano for sure, but we're not finished inside the desert. We've got stuff to do. So what I'm going to do is head back to the area in which Angemon is located, and I will meet you guys there. So uh, yeah, catch you guys in a bit. All right, guys, we are back in the server cemetery part of the desert, and I thought I would check in with you guys because. I am thinking that in a few seconds we might end up on a couple of battles that we necessarily don't really want to be in. So I thought what we would do is I noticed that our MP was low for both our guys. Obviously, again, we're in the scenario where we have these amazing powerful moves, but they cost a lot of mana. So what I'm going to do is actually bang across and probably pick up this um, tamer skill here. Um, invigorated runner, you guys can both, yeah, you can see that. Recover MP slowly while moving. It's exactly the same as HP, but it's for MP as well now. It is very expensive in seven points, but we have nine, so I'm actually just going to grab this now and put it to good use, because throughout the series, I'm going to be doing a lot of traveling. We're going to be doing a lot of traveling with you guys as well, and so why not actually make this a little bit more efficient for us? It'll save us some recovery items here and there. Not a lot, because you don't actually get your stats back, your MP and your HP. You don't get it back that quickly. Um, in all honesty, but let's see. Now we're going to go try and go down here past the oasis. These gentlemen are probably going to try and aggro us. If I could get past them, that would be great. I do want to pick up all these orange bananas that are lying around, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to uh, actually miss that one there, which is a massive shame. But anyways, let's go in here and have a look at this area because we've been in here before. You guys probably know what's going on, but this is the dead end town. Now, Angemon is actually at the back of this, but we have to get past some Jeremon in order to get to him. Now, Jeremon are pretty relentless in chasing, so I'm hoping that what we can do is get around the side here where it's safe, and can I diagro these guys, please? Can we diagro? Okay, nice. So now that we're kind of in the safety here, we've managed to kind of sneak around the back, and Angemon is just there. So I think we can actually kind of get to him a kind of Metal Gear Solid way here. We're doing this kind of ninja, which is uh, interesting. The Jeremon are actually, oh my god, this is terrible. Um, okay, so what we're going to do here is we're going to fight this one Jeremon on his own. Uh, rather than fight all of them, I didn't expect that to happen. Uh, this is a hideous battle cam. Okay, here we go, we're back. Um, I don't know how, how strong these guys are going to be. They're probably going to be a pain in the ass to kill. But, um, but actually it looks like we're putting a lot of damage out, which is pretty good. I'm just going to do what we do as always. Every time that I can make sure that we are defending, I'm going to defend and then, you know... When we're not, obviously, I will be trying to get limit breaks. So right now, we've actually got this guy to, to half HP already, which is pretty awesome. I think that once we get our limit breaks here, actually, this guy's going to be dead, if he even makes it to that. Wow, our dudes are putting on a show right now. Um, I didn't think that they were going to be this strong, but apparently they are. They're just absolutely annihilating this guy. He was marked in red, so uh, perhaps this is actually a good place for us to train. Um, Lord knows. Let's actually just use some of our big abilities here um, and fire tower, and that's probably going to finish him off. What I need to do at some point, guys, this just reminded me a, a second ago as well. Look at these. Look at these stats, man. That was so... F that's so free. Considering what we fought in order to get these stats in the past, that battle was so free. If we need to train, we know where we're going, all right? So, I wanted to very quickly mention that in that battle, obviously, when the command wheel comes up, there is, a t there is actually an ability in the center, um, which I've talked about before very, very briefly, but I never actually use it, and it's maybe something that I should consider using in the future. It differs for every Digimon, mostly, um, and, yeah, it has, like, a passive ability. I'll show you that later, guys. Okay, I'll, I'll show you in... And the next time we go into a fight, probably, but it's hard because uh, every time I open the, cam the command wheel... <laughs> command wheel, I only got about 4 seconds before it, it automatically closes, so 
it's hard for me to discuss. But anyways, that's something that we need to think about. Now, we have actually killed one of these Jeremon, which is one less to dodge. I'm hoping that we can get to Angemon without any further battles. That would be really nice. Um, where actually are we? Oh my fucking goodness, game. Why are you doing this to us? So, we're going to run around here. I don't know if we've aggroed... We've only aggroed one Jeremon, and he's right behind us. So, he should go away in just a second. Can we? Oh, for fuck's sake. All right, this is a good opportunity to talk and it's a good opportunity to pick up free stats as well for whatever reason <laughs> These guys take ages this move in the middle. So for black Garurumon, it's agitated where we get a, a Temporary boost to our strength. I'll show you that again real quick again I only got four settings in here guys, but for Garurumon, it is agitated temporary strength increase and over here We take damage from MP instead of HP. So again, these abilities are actually very very strong now I think that you know, for Joe here, we're not actually going to be using that one too much because we never have MP to play about with anyway. But this one here, agitated for a temporary increase, I'll show you guys what this looks like. We get this kind of uh, sword icon above uh, Sam here, which basically indicates that he's now in buff mode and he's going to do a lot more damage. As you can see there, that ability hit for 1.5 and hit this uh, gentleman for 360 damage, which is pretty insane. Um, here I'm just going to make... In fact, I can't actually control... <laughs> I can't control Joe right now, so I'm just going to... Toss a recovery at him, make sure that he is uh, safe as can be, and if he remains tanking, then that's fine. He actually gets knocked on his ass again here, which is kind of problematic. I really don't want to end up uh, losing this fight, guys, so uh, maybe I'm not paying as much attention as I should be. We have one recovery left, and Joe actually gets knocked out. Uh, both our guys get knocked out? Oh my god, wow. Okay, I don't think I can get a recovery item to one of these guys in time. That was a massive fail. Oh no, why? I was doing too much talking, too much messing around and I should have been paying attention. Alright, we go back to the city, which is a fucking massive pain in the arse, but obviously that is just how the game works. Sometimes you... Again, whenever I take my eye off the ball, we end up getting smashed in this fucking game, but what I'm actually going to do here is, I guess we'll tune in with Jigimon. You back, Wolfie, I have good news. Hackmon has come back to Felicia. He's gone to the hospital. I wonder what he's doing there. The city's prosperity is now at 23. All right, so both are, are both our guys injured? No, they're actually fine. <sighs> right, what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm probably going to grab some HP items and I'm going to return so that we can speak to Angemon and then I think what we'll do is end up wrapping up the episode. Now, we are pretty weak at this point, but I think by the time we travel back there, we should be full HP. I'm going to get back to the area. I'll show you guys me trying to navigate through the Jeremon and hopefully we can talk to Angemon without too much trouble. So, give me a second, guys. I'm going to pick up some uh, HP items and I'll be back in just a second. All right, guys, welcome back. We have some Jeremon charging us right now, but I think we can handle it. For some reason, the Jeremon in this game are so much faster. It feels like they're so much fucking faster than all the other annoying Digimon. But, anyways, we're fine. Now, before we nip in here, I'm going to show you. Look at the HP and MP, guys. Um, bear in mind that when we lost the battle, we went back to, like, 1 HP for both our guys. And our MP was pretty low as well from the last battle. I haven't used any recovery items. This is the power of those two Tamer points uh, in terms of gaining back your HP and MP. All I've done is walk from the city to here. And, uh, yeah, we're almost... We're almost full. Now, it is evening time now, so I don't know if these Jeremon actually change, but rather than fuck around this time, I'm just going to make an insta-left turn. Because last time I feel like I fucked about looking at these guys, and that's what actually aggroed them. So, I think we might actually have managed to get all the way around here. Now, there are Jeremon waiting, so I'm just going to... They're closer, and although... <laughs> oh, no, please, 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 Angemon. All right, we managed to get there in time. I was going to say that even though there's a building between us, the, the Jeremon, you know, they don't take that building into consideration. They can see us, they can smell us, they can fucking God knows what other us. Um, God knows what else. But anyways, here we are. We get to Angemon now. Getting out of this conversation is going to be interesting. Don't know how that's going to go. We're going to try and autopilot, obviously, as soon as we can. But let's let's just talk to Angemon and worry about that shit later. So, it looks like you got to meet Hackmon. What? You two fought and now uh, he's heading to the city? Is that right? I guess he's feeling better now. But I still hope it, um, it doesn't have any new injuries. I guess he's talking about Hackmon being an it. I don't know. But anyways. Right, I'll head to the city too. There's lots of Digimon there. So, my medical training will be surely useful. So, just like that, guys. We get two pickups in the one episode. Which feels good because the last few episodes we've had no city recurs. And the city hasn't changed at all. So it feels nice to get this guy here now I'm gonna instantly as soon as I push X here I'm gonna hit square and hopefully we can get into our menu ASAP um, Because yeah, okay, we're actually fine that 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 the screen kind of reset is there So we we don't have to panic luckily. We do actually have a uh, uh, An autopilot we do have an autopilot, right? Oh, that would have been interesting Um I could try and run my way out of this scenario and probably we could do it But I'm not walking back to the city. I just fucking walked all the way here and it's not happening. So Let's auto-pilot, we'll head back, 
it's going to take us straight to Digimon, so let's find out. Could probably talk to our new city residents and actually... Um, oh, actually, we're getting something bigger here. Alright guys, what we'll do here is we'll talk through this very quickly because it looks like we've triggered another progression of the story. Um, so I'm going to talk through these guys and then we're going to wrap up our episode, okay? And uh, that can make us take us into this kind of tidy little bundle and we'll talk to our new city residents in the next episode, okay? So here we are, Hamari, here you are. Let's get started now. Uh, who is this beautiful place, or <laughs> beautiful place, who is this beautiful person standing next to you? Obviously I'm not talking about Digimon, but uh, anyways. Are you surprised? Rika Digivolved. Apparently, Arika's just fucking flying up the Digivolution ranks. So she went from Gatomon to what looks like a Lady Angemon. Is that her name? Let's have a look. Indeed says Digimon. I briefly mentioned this in my Digimail. Oh, dude, if you've been sending us Digimail, don't take it. Don't be offended. But we don't normally check that. So, anyways, we received a signal on the machine machine Digimon detector. The signal is coming from the north northern part of the server desert, and you need to head there quickly. Now, obviously, we're not actually on a timer in this game. We could probably wander around for absolute days on end and nothing bad would happen, but, you know, the game's trying to make us go there urgently. We also need someone to stay behind and defend the city. Unfortunately, that can never be us. I would have liked a segment where we defend the city, you know, maybe have some sort of, like, mini tournament mode where we have to defend against, like, three attacks or something like that. That'd be sick, but apparently. Kota's going to stay here and, uh, and defend. Kota's looking a bit dishevelled. It's probably because his trousers still haven't been changed. Um, but Yukimura doesn't look too happy either. I was going to ask for volunteers, says Jijimon. Seems like Kota's still been a little uh, mopey bitch. After he got smashed by the Machine Dramon. He hasn't been he hasn't been lifting. He's been skipping a couple of legs and arm days. And uh, yeah, he's suffering. But anyways, Wolfie, I want you to see how Kota is doing. Will you go over to the server desert and check out things first? Uh, why is Samari giving us orders? That was what I want to fucking know. I will open the gate to get back so you don't have to worry about uh, preserving your strength. Well, that's definitely a plus. So there we go. We know what we're doing, guys. Next episode, we're going to the northern part of the server desert and uh, and figuring out what's going to happen because I think we might get some sort of trigger and maybe even encounter some of our new characters that we keep hearing about. Is it Suzuki? Suzuki and Mamio, of course. So, Wolfie, you're back. I have good news. Jijimon's going to tell us about Anjimon and he has went to the hospital now as well. So I guess because we've got our prosperity to 25, that's what procced all of that nonsense. So, all right, guys. Thanks for watching. That was um, an interesting episode. We have our two... Or our second generation of two champions. Um, we've got Joe and Sam here. Joe, <laughs> Joe is buzzing out of his tits by the looks of things. We had some ups and downs, but we learned so many abilities in this episode. We can definitely take a peek at those um, tomorrow as well. So, uh, yeah, let me know what you thought. And I will see you in tomorrow's part of the series. Leave me all your ratings, comments, and all that good stuff. And I will see you then. Take care, guys. Peace out. Bye-bye.